Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to marble with gel polish. Um, you can use any colour combination that you've got in your gel polish collection. You don't need to use Sharpie markers, it's quick and very easy to do. So let's get started on the video. Okay, so the things that you'll need for marbling are your base coat, you'll need um, your base colour for your design, you'll need your colours that you're going to be marbling with. So today I'm doing a white base colour with a dark grey and gold marbling. And then you'll need your top coat, that's a really important part of the design which you'll see in a minute. Um, you're going to use something as a palette to put little blobs of gel colour onto. So I'm just using the plastic back of a nail form for that or you could use something like tin foil. And then the other thing that you'll need is a very fine detailing brush. So I'm using the Lacente D2 detailing brush. And as you can see, it's got a really fine little brush on it. So that's perfect for marbling. So I've gone in with my base coat and cured. And my two coats of white and cured. I used OPI gel colour in Alpine Snow. And the next step that we're going to do is to paint on our top coat. So we're just going to do a nice thin layer of top coat and we're just going to cap the edge and we want to leave that uncured at this stage. So the next step will be painting on the marbling. So as you can see I've got my little palette and I've put two little blobs of the marbling colours that I'm going to be using. So I've got a little bit of paint um, on my brush, a little bit of dark grey gel colour and I'm just going to go in and start painting a design into the uncured top coat. And there's not really any right or wrong way of doing this. You can sort of make it as dark or as light as you want to. I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more on my brush. So you can make the lines as straight or as squiggly as you would like them to as well. You really just do whatever your heart desires or whatever you think your marbling should look like. And the great thing about doing it in the uncured gel top coat is that it sort of dilutes the colour down so instead of going in with like you would with a sharpie and sort of trying to dull the design down with your alcohol you can um, just go in with your paint with your gel colour and the uncured top coat actually dilutes the colour down quite well and it gives you the freedom to go back over and sort of edit your design as you wish basically. So I'm quite happy with how that's looking. So I'm just going to clean off my brush and I'm going to go in with a little bit of gold as I find that most natural marbles do have a little bit of gold fleck in them. So I've cleaned off my brush now, um, this layer here is still uncured, I'm just going to get a little bit of gold on my brush and I'm just going to go into the design and just pop little flicks of gold wherever I feel like they should go. Okay, so I'm happy with how that's looking. I'm just going to pop that in now to cure. So my design is now cured. I'm just going to go in with top coat just to seal in the design. And now I'm just going to cure that. Okay, so we're just going to wipe that sticky inhibition layer off. And 
and there's our finished result. So a beautiful, quick, easy and sophisticated design that you can use with the products that you already have in your gel polish collection. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope that it helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And please subscribe to my channel because I'll be popping up more tutorial videos, especially to do with gel polish in the coming weeks. Thank you for watching and see you next time.